What's up, everybody? It's Mommy Wata, and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Staying safe, staying spiritually protected. I had started a reading, and a high pre priestess in reverse flew out, and I maybe got about four minutes into the reading, and I just cut the camera off because I didn't feel like giving that whole no energy, okay? But... I did post a short, and then I said, I still ain't finna give that hoe no energy that away, okay? Not giving these hoes no energy. These, um, with these, I ain't gonna wanna, I don't wanna put that all on witches, because all witches gonna be out here doing spell work to hurt and destroy other people. They don't. So I can't say it's just witches, but it's some, somebody coming out in the reverse, a high priestess, okay, but nevertheless, please just continue to practice spiritual protection as a daily part of your life, however you choose to do that. For some people, it's just simply prayer. For some people, they may burn a candle. They may perform some type of manifestation ritual to put a shield or bubble around them of protection. Some people meditate. Whatever you do, just <clears throat> add it to your daily routine. You know, discipline yourself to make sure you ask God to spiritually protect you. Just like you brush your teeth every morning, you wash your body and you put on deodorant, these things you just automatically do. Most of us do. Put put spiritual protection into your daily routine. And don't worry about these people that's out here constantly doing this spell work to have you in some type of tower or misfortune, okay? Just don't even worry about it. Because they're not going to stop. We can talk about it till we blew in the face. They're still going to fucking keep doing this shit right here with the Seven of Swords. You just have to stay prayed up. I mean, that's my that's my form of protection. That's what I recommend to people. And that prayer work, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what are we talking about at this time? What is it that you would like for us to know? What is the message? Okay? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for spiritually protecting us from this type of stuff we are grateful thank you for choosing us to watch and keep over with this lover's energy and i feel like somebody is the ideal love choice of another this empress here okay and it's got people upset with this five of wands, because I feel like whoever is choosing this empress now, this person is this this person has decided that this empress is the ideal love choice. They were previously undecided about this energy. Okay, they were conflicted. This five of wands, I do I am picking up on some people being pissed now, but this five of wands talks about the inner conflict that this two of swords was going through. They were unable to make a decision about this person. They were in regret about this person, okay? But they have decided to have a new start with this empress. A decision was just made about some somebody. This ain't nobody they've been dealing with, okay? Because they were previously on the fence about them, and there was some type of conflict or drama within this person that kept them away from this empress. Within, it was conflict and drama on the inside and the outside that I'm getting here, okay? <clears throat> to the point that this person was in regret. They were very disheartened that they could not resolve whatever conflict was going on so that they could be with this person but now they have decided to do this people are mad i'm telling you now people are mad about this one right here because this is a sudden drastic change 
We got three fives out here, five of wands, five of cups, five of swords. This the, the people were not expecting this masculine to suddenly decide to choose whoever this empress is. They weren't ready for this change. They wasn't ready for this man to <clears throat> abruptly leave it all behind and choose to take this risk with this woman. They were not ready for him to cut them off, okay? They were not ready for him to make such a prolific decision. That's also what this King of Swords talks about. This man is standing in his beliefs, what he knows to be true. He is making a conscious decision. He letting his conscience be his guide, okay? Shout out to Aaron Neville, <laughs> okay? That, that's what I'm getting here. A light has been shined down on who he is choosing to collaborate with. He's realized something about this empress. And I'm talking about this man has just decided. This is real time here because somebody is upset this morning about his decision. A queen of wands, possibly. This masculine has ended this connection this morning we got another one out here y'all we got another one who woke up this morning and realized that this empress and a divine feminine was his ideal love choice and he has ended things with a queen of wands and the holy spirit says that's the truth this man has eight of cups eight of wands will of fortune okay the will has definitely turned in this masculine's life abruptly okay we talking real time here i'm telling you i'm picking up on it this masculine he told this queen of wands that this relationship was debilitating him it's something about her energy that was not, you know, flowing good with his energy. The Queen of Wands is falling right up under the Five of Wands, so she must have got to trying to fuss and fight with this masculine. Because one thing I'm noticing <clears throat> on this Five of Pentacles is how they all busted and broke up. And, you know, we always see it when we see this traditional Five of Pentacles card, but I'm noticing him in particular the way, <clears throat> woo child. Something was being said this morning. The way that this card is falling here, the only thing I can see is this masculine on crutches, beat up and shit, okay? So <clears throat> this, this queen of wands might have attacked this masculine physically. Clarify what I'm picking up on, Holy Spirit. That's the fifth five, two, ten of wands. I think these people had not got to fighting this morning about this masculine's decision to be with this divine feminine and i don't even think this divine feminine no see this is one of them where like i said these people ain't in contact with each other these people are not currently sleeping or with each other or in communication with one another this man has been engaging with a queen of wands energy and he's decided that he wants to reconnect with an empress okay and whoever he been laying up with they got the damn fighting with her this morning somebody was fighting this morning about a breakup we have justice about this man wanting to balance the scales in another direction in his life he gave up on whatever it was he had going with this queen of wands can I get more insight into this Queen of Wands and King of Swords, Holy Spirit? But whatever he had going with her, he was already in the Five of Pentacles about it anyway. We have the Four of Cups. So I feel like it was almost inevitable, I'm hearing. Like, even if he would not have had this epiphany about this Empress, they still would have ended up in the Four of Cups. Whether this Queen of Wands decided not to, to not to accept his love offers anymore or vice versa. So one of them would have moved on to calmer waters with the Six of Swords here. 
Six of Swords is falling right up under the Five of Pentacles. He just chose to do it before this Queen of Wands did. Four of Swords. This morning, I feel like this man woke up this morning and decided that he wanted to pursue this Empress. That that is where his heart lied. That he wanted to make amends with her. Okay? You know? And he is now in opposition with this Queen of Wands. She coming out as the Queen of Swords. Because that, that relationship came to a abrupt halt this morning. Like somebody did get to fighting now. Somebody got to fighting. What is the history between this King of Swords and this Empress Holy Spirit, please? And thank you. What would you like for us to know? The chariot that came out here, child. With the world. These people had an opportunity to have success in life together. Okay? The world talks about success. The world talks about ending a karmic cycle or period in your life and being free to pursue those things that you were not able to do before when you were in this type of karmic bond, okay? I just, you know, all that throat cackling that was going on in the beginning, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if, look, look, I can't even begin it out my mouth, child. I wouldn't be surprised if there was no type of spiritual blockages as well okay that's what i was saying before the cards was already out here confirming it but something got in the way of these people's chariot their opportunity for success and it ended it transformed the connection somebody did something some action was taken to cause challenges and blockages for this King of Swords and this Empress, okay? But these people are destined to have a Ten of Pentacles partnership here. I feel like whoever caused these initial blockages, they know that as well. They know that that these two people are supposed to be together. Clarify, Holy Spirit. The devil didn't came out here, child. Look at this. Okay, so again, and the queen, and you know, I can't ignore it. The devil is falling right up underneath the queen of swords. So she may have been the karmic force, this queen of swords, queen of um, wands. I think I did I say the queen of wands because, yeah, that's where it's falling at, but I forgot she came out here as this queen of swords as well. This woman may have been doing something very karmic and toxic to cause challenges between these two people. That's why this has happened so abruptly in her life this morning. Because she caused some type of abrupt change and challenges between these two people. You know, it's given a twin flame couple that were put forced into separation as the result of spiritual manipulation. Clarify, Holy Spirit. And now he didn't just look. The tower that came out here with the two of cups. Look at what I what did I just say? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the confirmation. Like I just said, this, this twin flame couple was forced into separation with spiritual manipulation. These two people. We're already supposed to be together. We're already thinking and trying to figure out in their own minds how they could be together, but they couldn't even get off the ground good before this spiritual blockage was put in place between them. This is giving chaos magic. Some kind of chaos magic was done to keep this twin flame couple apart. And it was done by this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. Okay, so the spell has been broken. Okay, I'm telling y'all that I don't know what the hell been going on lately, but the truth is being revealed. 
spells are being broken, connections are ending, and reconnections are happening, okay? And some people are just getting entirely new divine counterparts. They have had been reassigned to entirely different people because their partner decided to be a karmic. You know, all of this has been happening lately, okay? But this woman did magic to break these people apart. That's just period. That's just period. That's why that happened for her this morning. This woman woke up to this man saying that he didn't want to be with her anymore, that it was over, and that he was about to pursue a connection with this empress. And these people got to fighting. There was a domestic dispute, hey, man. Because the choices is it's a mess. Hang there under the Queen of Swords. The choices that this Queen of Swords made, she's having to face the consequences of those choices. And she's slowly becoming enlightened to as to why things are falling the way they are falling today. Because of what she did to keep this man from his twin flame. That's just period. Okay? The spell has broken. We have the moon. Like I said, the spell has broken. What was she was doing in the dark? That shit done been revealed. Okay? And the way it was revealed, let's clarify. Because, let's please clarify, Holy Spirit, this moon card, please, and thank you. The Hierophant. A higher authority revealed what was being done. And the way it was it was revealed was that the spell was broken and this man woke up and realized that that's not the woman he wanted to be with. We have the Three of Swords. He realized that he loved someone else and that he has been caught up in whatever the hell he had going on with this Queen of Swords. Okay, that he had been bamboozled. Okay, hoodwinked. The head of swords talks about somebody who has been tricked, bamboozled. Okay, and this man was tricked into staying away from his twin flame. And the person that he'd been with is the one who did it. And now he is free of that connection. This woman had this man thinking, him coming out as the king of wands, though, it's just more clarity with this eight of swords of the fact that she did have him thinking spiritually that this was his divine counterpart. Okay? But this man has been enlightened. This man went through something. This harping energy, something got pushed through to him spiritually some 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 type of introspection came through overnight this this is the vibe i'm getting here and this man immediately realized and was made to know that he should withdraw his energy from this queen of swords queen of wands that he was being forced to believe that she was his ideal counterpart and that he needed to Get on the path to have victory and success with this empress expeditiously because the person that he been with has been plotting and scheming on him. She has been plotting and scheming to have a victory with him all of this time. She did some type of plot and scheme, something deceitful to have success with him, be in a connection with him, and win his love, okay? Like, this man woke up, y'all. I'm getting that so heavily. He woke up this morning and was like, who am I laying next to? What is this? This ain't it. Is this my future? Hell the fuck now. 
my future is with my empress and I'm finna boss up and go be her emperor. And I didn't communicate it to who I'm with now that I'm about to go and get my baby, okay? Who I was supposed to be in a union with from the jump. This man and told this woman, he probably didn't even told her who it is specifically. And that probably grinds her gears even more because she know what she did to keep that man from that woman. Yup, nine of wands. She know what she did to keep that man from that woman. The nine of wands is falling up underneath the seven of swords. So for her so-called man, and what it also is letting me know is that even though she had then convinced him spiritually that he was her ideal love choice, this masculine still was not fully convinced. These people have not come out, come out in any type of committed partnership. Just after all that she done did, they only came out here as the king and queen of wands and the king and queen of swords, okay? Because this man is in the king of cups for this empress. He's now come out as this empress's match. Because he knows that that is where his future lies. 21, 21, when I looked up at the clock, this man knows that that's where his future lies. He received some type of spiritual indication. I don't even know if he realized that he didn't really receive this type of spiritual download. He just know when he woke up this morning, his mind, he was, he was convicted to end this situation that he's in with this other woman. He was convicted to take this action, okay? with this knight of swords here. He knew that this was what he should do. That this was the right thing to do. And he was correct. He is correct. Okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know? We have the knight of cups. Okay? So I feel like this masculine is about to, of course, make an offer to this empress, whoever this empress is. However, I feel like he's going to be very careful about how he engages with her because of what happened last time. He's going to make this offer, but he is going to make sure that this offer isn't seen as something negative, as something that potentially will cause her to be going through this type of energy right here. Because this is what happened before. So with this star card here, I feel like this man has to clear his energy, okay? That's what I'm getting from this star card. He has faith and hope in a, in a union, a reunion, a victory with this empress. He has to get himself in alignment. He gonna have to clear his energy. He been laying up with somebody who been doing spell work on him and chaos magic to keep him apart from this woman. So he has to first clear his energy that's what I'm also getting with the strength in this star. That's why this Knight of Cups is coming out here with this Knight of Swords as well, because he this our love offer is going to be, it's got a plan around it, okay? Because he knows he got to clean himself up. He knows he has to clear his energy. He has to get his chakras in alignment. We know the star card, those seven stars, they've been popping out lately in some of my readings. Those seven stars speak to getting in alignment, okay? Getting in alignment with the most high, with the universe, with yourself, so that you can be the best person that you can be for you first and foremost. Because you can't be nothing good to nobody else if you ain't in alignment within yourself, okay? If you ain't got yourself together, what can you be or do for somebody else? Anything else, Holy Spirit? And this is what this emperor is about to do, okay? And I think that's it. Ooh, so every time I say that, Queen of Pentacles. He is going to get his self together so that he can fully commit to this woman this time around. 
and truly balance this twin flame connection that exists between the two of them. This twin flame energy here. 21, 21, I think I did say, no, did I? I think I did. That's twin flame energy now. But I'm going to drop the mic here, okay? I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you the insight and clarification and guidance even that you were looking for. Okay, but always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Also, if you have booked a reading with me for today, if your appointment was for today, you will receive your reading today. Please stay tuned throughout the day for an email with a link to your private reading, okay? And bookings are still open. I no longer have the New Year's special available, but the general tarot reading is available on my website so please go ahead and book with me while you have the opportunity to do so okay so y'all take care stay safe be blessed and i will be back soon with another one peace y'all